What's going on? This is Hoppa, and we are reporting to you for a first look here at Pioneer headquarters in the LBC in Long Beach, California. So uh, we're here to show you though a first look at the XDJ1000 that Pioneer has just released. Actually what Pioneer has done is they've taken a lot of the features inside the CDJ2000 Nexus and put them into the XDJ1000 as well. So you're kind of getting the best of all worlds. And then they've added in some really cool things. So like at first glance, one of the biggest things is that the weight of the um, XDJ1000 is a lot lighter than either of these, um, which is great if you're moving around and you're moving with these things. So um, I also want to point out that you'll notice that a lot of the buttons that you're used to having, like the actual hardware buttons, aren't here on the XDJ1000 because the screen is an actual touch screen. So they've taken those buttons and you didn't lose them, but now you have them in a more digital version with the touch screen here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull up my USB. Um, I still have this scroll knob. Pull up my track. So you'll notice right off the bat, I've got my, my buttons that I mentioned up here at the top. I've got menu, info, my tag list, browse. Um, I've got those all at the top and those are all touch enabled. Um, as this is playing, I also have the ability to pull up features like slip mode. And it's right there on the touch screen. I also can pull up my loops, so I can hit auto loops. Um, so all of my loops are right here, um, and I have quick jump to loops. Um, the other piece here is that um, the needle search that I used to have on, or that I have on the CDJ2000 is right here on the screen. So I just need to touch the waveform to be able to search to wherever I want to go. Cool, and you'll also notice there's a quantize button here as well that is now in the actual screen. Another feature um, adopted from the CDJ2000 Nexus and put into the XDJ1000. I've also got sync and master tempo buttons right there. Um, now, you might be wondering where the hot cue buttons are, and they are right here. So I've got another mode on the top right hand corner, perform. Now it pulls up a different screen, and I have my hot cues laid out A, B, and C. All right there. I've also got this brand new feature called beat jump. So I can go back one beat, forward one beat, back two beats, forward two beats, or four beats. It's a cool new little feature to be able to jump around a little bit more. And you'll notice you have this that you have on the CDJ2000 Nexus, the timeline of where the beats are, um, and being able to count bars that way. Everything else on this thing um, is pretty amazing. I mean, you'll notice that between the 850 and then the 2000, it clearly is like right in between that. Uh, the screen is even facing up towards me. There's a few things though that um, you know uh, we don't have in here, which are one, we don't have an SD slot, which the 850 didn't have to begin with, but that is in the CDJ2000. Um, and obviously we don't have a, a CD drive, a CD slot. Other than that though, this would be perfect for somebody at home. If this was your rig at home that you were using and sort of uh, was your main rig and then you went to the club and you're using this, it's not a far jump to jump from here to there. Obviously, like all the new features they put in into the screen, and then in addition to that, the fact that I can link um, the XDJ1000 to even a 2000 Nexus or to another XDJ1000, that's a feature, a very, very needed feature that needed to be in the 850, but is here in the XDJ1000. So this was your first look at the new Pioneer XDJ1000. This is the future of where players are going in the DJ market with the touch screen and no CD slot. So this is the brand new XDJ1000. You've seen it here first.